As the dust settles on Andrew Scheer's decision to resign as leader, speculation has been running rampant about who will replace him. Michael Chong is one of the Conservative MPs who has yet to rule out a bid. He joins me in studio. Hello, Michael Chong. Hello. Um, you know, thanks for being here. I'm wondering, why do you want to run again? Why are you considering it? Well, it's time for Conservatives to win. And I think the next leader of the party needs to be able to unite the party, but at the same time, grow the party. And be able to grow the party in east of Manitoba, to be able to win in cities, to be able to convince millennials to vote for the Conservatives. And that involves um, a leadership race. Okay, so it will be a very different leadership race than the one that you ran in a few years ago because you were one of the contenders. Um, you know, how different do you think it's going to be this time? There's going to be a lot of contenders from very different factions of your party. Mm -hmm. So what does your party need? Well, I think it's going to be different for two reasons. First, we're facing a Liberal government that is uh, that has lost its luster with Canadians. I think that's clear. But obviously not enough. No. To, to, to allow you to win. That's right, and that's why we need to grow the party. But I think the other thing that's changed is we're in a hung parliament. Uh, we have, we're facing a minority government, and so I think a shorter leadership race is probably what the National Council of the Conservative Party will decide rather than the 14-month race we had last time. So you're considering or you're actually going to do it? Do I'm, con you... I'm considering. I, at the end of the day, I believe in the Conservative Party. I believe in Conservative principles. And my, the question I have to answer in the coming weeks is, what role can I best play to contribute to the bigger Conservative Party? Okay, and but maybe you... that involves running for leader, maybe it doesn't. But I do know one thing. The next leader of this party needs to grow the party. We have to move beyond about a third of the electorate who will vote for us to closer to 40% in order to form a majority government. And so I think one of the things the next leader has to do is take a serious look at John Baird's report. He was a colleague of mine in Cabinet who have whom I've had immense respect for. He needs to finish his report. The next leader has to look at that report and implement its recommendations. So there was a lot of talk about uh, Sheer being too social conservative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's... You, you say you have to grow the party. Growing the party means moving a little bit to the center, maybe to the left, a little bit more progressive, sort of like you. <laughs> well, look, I believe we should be an inclusive, big tent conservative party. The conservative movement is a big movement. I believe in marriage equality. I believe in women's reproductive rights. And the next leader of the party should espouse those views on behalf of all Canadians. The country has changed immensely in the last 20 years, and Canadians expect their prime minister to have those views. That said, I believe also that social conservatives are an important part of the conservative movement. And so the next leader also has to include their voices around the table, allow those members to freely express themselves on the floor of the House of Commons. And I think Stephen Harper did that over the 10 years that he was in office. He reconciled the different, different groups but, in the party and managed to square that circle. So is that, that would be the priority. Somebody that can do what Stephen Harper did quite successfully is keep the party together. And, and we probably didn't notice it until those of us who are obviously not on the inside of your party didn't notice it until recently yeah. that, well, Stephen Harper did uh, yeah. actually keep all these different views together yeah. and, you know, muzzled a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, there's an expression, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. So I think we have to take the general approach of Stephen Harper, that, but that doesn't necessarily mean doing everything exactly the same. And the general approach is we have to keep the party united and we have to grow it. Michael Chong, thank you. I'm sure you're going to walk if, if it ever snows here. and want to do the walk in the snow and think about your political future. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be here.